Yo, what's up guys? It's Vex here, and welcome to, yet again, another text tutorial. And today we're going to uh, cover um, layer styles, basically. Okay, so what you want to do is get your uh, first clipping mask, and then what I like to do is get your uh, polygonal lasso tool, and then... Um, just randomly select the top. So right now we're gonna do the highlights. Uh, so yeah, just do a pattern kind of like that. Get a white brush, and then color the entire thing. Oops. Uh, let me turn it off. And then get the lasso tool again, the polygonal one, and then do these kind of shapes. And then what I like to do is, you see where these corners um, happen? So that's where I want to like kind of inter intersect my selections. So it'd be kind of like, kind of like that. So here is, it's not really a corner, but like it's where um, like two lines converge, I guess, or uh, diverge or whatever it's called. And then once you've selected those, oh yeah, and to select multiple selections, hold shift. So right now I'm not holding shift, so it won't allow me to have multiple selections. To have multiple, um, hold shift and then you can add. And then after that, get your eraser. I usually summon to like 30% opacity. And then I just want to <clears throat> like erase the edges. So it kind of looks like that. And you don't really have to be precise. Just to, um, You just have to be really random with this. So actually, if you don't do it correctly, that's even better. If that makes sense. And then after that, we're done with that. And then we're going to do the same thing again. Except we're going to make different shapes. So... I usually try to make it like overlap with the original, um, original sections, so it makes it look, look more messy. So maybe like that, and then I do the same thing, and it's like that, and then shit, it kind of looks bad actually. Whatever. Um, okay, and then after that, I kind of like soften the bottom part, and then I set the I just have to like soft overlay. Overlay looks nice, but uh, right now I'm just going to show you a uh, soft light. And then we're going to do the same thing. Um, actually, you can do the same thing what we just did for a different layer. Or uh, what I do is just um, duplicate it. So control J. And then I go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. So it still looks like it's like a different pattern. It's kind of cheating, I guess. And then... So this is the new one on top. So uh, I can also erase the bottom part to make it look more smooth. Maybe bring it down a bit. And then I'll make another layer. And remember, this is just something that I did for uh, this logo. Am I recording? Yeah. Um, for every logo, it's almost always different. So it's just about messing around and what looks good. But the main principle is that there's always a gradient-ish. So instead of making like, um, so if I go, go to the gradient tool, it's not like doing that and then making a gradient. I mean, um, okay, uh, here, it's sort of a gradient, except it's like making our own gradient without using the gradient tool. Um, uh, conceptually, a gradient is just like a transition from one color to another. <clears throat> but in this way, we're just... Um, as you can see, we're going from white to orange and then to like a really dark orange slash red. And um, that is technically a gradient, but we're just making it so it's a gradient in our own stylistic way. So, yeah, so. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we have that. And then, so I've made a new layer and I saw my white brush tool. And then what sometimes I like to do, or at least what I do for this one, I like made the top uh, brighter ish, so I just um, just colored it in without any selection, and that's what it looks like before and after. You could set this to like soft, soft light if you want, or even overlay. overlay. Uh, I'll do soft light for now. And next, what we're gonna go to is um, actually here we'll do this. So we're not gonna do another polygonal um, type pattern. We're just gonna make a real gradient like uh kind of like this here 
And then I also like to shift the cube a bit. So maybe I'll go to I'll go to go down a bit instead of pink. And then on the uh, uh yeah okay so yeah on the new layer that we made make sure it's at the bottom. We're gonna just uh, color it a bit. So it kind of looks nice already. And then that'll lay the foundation for what our colors will be like. So next, um, make your uh, new layer and then get your polygonal lasso tool and we're gonna do the same thing like we did, except it's gonna be dark colors. So this time, switch your colors so that um, your current color is black, pitch black, and then do the same pattern. And again, it's really messy. So you don't have to do much. And then yeah. So after that, uh, you can set it to soft light now or you can just do it later. Um, yeah, right now it kind of looks weird. You could do like hard light or overlay or something. Just whatever looks good. Um, and then we do the same thing. And just erase. Make sure to set your opacity at <clears throat> uh, 30 to make um, more variation, I guess. And then uh, do the same thing, like I said before. That kind of sucks. Okay, and to remove selections, hold Alt, and then it'll allow you to remove. And then we're gonna erase. And actually, I don't like this really dark spot over here, so I'm just gonna do this. And then I'm gonna soften the edge a bit. And then I'll, uh, should I? I'll do it later. So I'm gonna control J to duplicate. And then flip horizontal, go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Move it up a bit. I'm gonna select both of the layers to bring them both down. Uh, let's see. And that part looks a bit too dark. So I'll just erase. So right now I'm just correcting it, I guess. And this is kind of what it looks like without the fundamental. Um, fundamental, sorry. Uh, or base color, I guess you could say. Oh shit. What did I do there? Um, yeah. So if you turn it on and off, um, to be honest, it looks kind of better without, but I know that we can make it more interesting with another, with a different color. So I'm going to make a, I deleted it. So I made a new layer. I'm going to select the top color just as a reference and then make it slightly, let's try pink. Now that sucks. Uh... Um, and also, if you know color color theory yourself, um, this should be pretty easy to you, and you might not even need uh, layer styles, because you already know what colors look good together, I guess. But uh, I think the layer styles is a great option, because um, it makes work much more simpler, or much more simple. And then here, let's go to here. Oh, actually. It kind of looks like it already. And then, and then we're also missing the inner stroke. So for that, sometimes they do this differently, sometimes they don't. I just duplicate the base layer, make that. <clears throat> um, I will rasterize it, uh, make it a clipping mask. I go here, go to uh, stroke, make it an inside stroke. Uh, I usually make it white or black. Uh, I'll try white for now. And then it here, what you want to do is make the fill zero. That way, the only thing that appears is our text. Because if it's if it's at 100, then... Wait, what the fuck? Uh, never mind. Okay, whatever. But just do that. Make sure it fills at uh, zero. Uh, raster has it. Oh, no, make sure you don't move it, actually. So I rasterize it. <clears throat> and then I make it to, like, overlay. 
soft, uh, hard, maybe even color dodge sometimes, linear dodge. Um, in this case, it doesn't really do anything. I'm, I'm not sure why, but yeah. So overlay kind of looks nice. Soft light, it looks more subtle. Here, I'll do uh, overlay for now. Next, this is kind of a cool trick that uh, Adrian, um, he didn't show me, but like I noticed. Um, sometimes you can delete, just delete it. Or not, don't delete it like entirely maybe, just try and make it like look random. Just kind of do that. Looks kind of cool. And uh, what he's been doing recently is uh, changing the actual color. So I'm making multiple selections. Select lock transparency, which allows us to only draw over um, the object and not over transparent um, the transparent part of the layer. So it's kind of like a cooling mask. And then you can just uh, color it in like this. And it kind of makes like a cool thing, but you have to be like, um, you have to kind of experiment if you do this. So I, I, uh, as you can see, I, I uh, change the color a bit over here, and then it kind of looks like that. So yeah, um, honestly, no matter what, if I do the the leaning technique, um, so I'm gonna uh, unselect the lock transparency because when you lock transparency and you try to erase, what it'll do actually is color in using the secondary color that you're using. So it'd be using this blue color. So anyway, I make sure it's not locked and I just erase. And then it kind of makes it look more random. And as you can see, I went like a different direction. It's just about messing around. Yeah, so it kind of looks like that. Um, actually, I don't really like the, that purple over here. So I'm just gonna do that, and then yeah, that's how that's how it's done. It's kind of, it's sort of like this one. Um, yeah, basically is actually. Uh, actually, it's kind of. That's what I did for this one, for the top, as you can see. The bottom one is obviously different. Um, I had to make like my own fire, vector, which I can show you later if you want. But it's a really niche kind of pattern that only works for like something. And uh, yeah, for this one, I just made it really polygonal, I guess. Like, um, I made a lot of polygons. And then I'll show you the technique later, actually. And then, yeah, <clears throat> that's it. And yeah, um, that's one trick. And then for this one, I'm not sure if I should show, I should show a tutorial, but Mm, it's kind of the same process except I was using different shapes um, for this one as you can see there's like a line a straight line going through and then another straight line and then another straight line which is darker and for this part I kind of did what I did here except instead of using the polygonal tool I used the pen tool so I made it more soft or um, not soft but more like roundy and more like curvy and um, yeah, that's it. All right, and yeah, that's how layer styles go. That's just a, a basic trick, so yeah. Oh shit.